Welcome to another episode of Failing to Success. I'm your host, Chad Kalecki with Cosmic Design and Development. Today on the show, we have Frank Deming. His company is called Local Business Marketing Solutions, and they help law firms by the means of digital marketing. So Frank, first of all, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me, Chad. So we were just talking about the story of you leaving corporate America to go out on your own. You want to share that with the audience? Yeah, back in, well, I fully left in 2011, but I started my business in 2007. But what, what catapulted me to start it is a series of issues that I've had with being overworked in corporate America and not seeing really an end to it. So I, I saw one of my f mentors get fired or let go. He wasn't really fired. He was let go because I didn't have anything for him. And he had been in the company over 30 years. And it was something that I said, it's not going to happen to me. I also remember have being rushed back from Thanksgiving to create a proposal for the government. And I, those those two things catapulted me to leave corporate America. I figured out how to create my own success with digital marketing. And then here I am, the rest is history. I've been 15 years, going on 16 now. But I didn't start out with doing done for you services. I started out doing coaching for for small businesses because I thought they wanted to learn how to, how to do digital marketing themselves. They don't have to pay people like me to do it. That was wrong. What, did you choose law firms from the very beginning or did that come with time? That came with time, and it's actually, in full disclosure, it's only been in the last three years that I work with solely law firms. I had worked with law firms in the past, but I worked with everything, roofing, home improvement, landscaping, you name it, dentists. But over time, I noticed, well, one, well my business coach told me, you got to pick a niche because you're all over the place. And as I looked at my book of business, who, who do I like to work with the most? Who I have the best success with? Attorneys. Attorneys have been getting leads and closing them very easily, whereas home improvement companies, roofers, HVAC, not so not so much. So there you go. Since you made that switch, have you seen a lot of growth in your business? I've seen growth. And not only that, peace of mind, because my messaging is simple. So not just growth, it's, it's also that... I feel I'm tranquil now. Like I know what I'm doing. I don't, when I'm, when I'm on the phone with someone, I know exactly what to tell them depending on the niche they are. Like if they're family law, I know what to say. Personal injury, I know what works. Criminal law, I know it works. It's, so it's, it's, so it's, it's kind of like, it's hard to say autopilot because nothing is really autopilot. I hate that term, but it's almost autopilot. Yeah. It's targeted now. It's targeted mm -hmm. messaging. Yeah, yeah. So you can build some processes around it and some rhythm. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. So when you bring on a, a legal client law firm, what does that process look like? What do you end up doing for them? Again, it depends on the, it depends on the, on the practice area. If they're a personal injury, for instance, we usually do display ads. Display ads work very well with personal injury. I don't know if you drive on a, a highway, you always see these personal injury in a car accident, but that's not targeted. Right. But if you do a display ad on the internet, you can actually target it based on their behavior on the internet, based on where they've gone, if they've gone to hospitals, if they've done the search for this, if they've done an Alexa search, a Google search, voice search. I can tie all that in and show them ads. That's a more targeted digital display type of marketing for them. When it comes to the family laws, more for search, more LSAs, that's a different approach. Criminal law is the same thing, more of a search. Even even employment law, to be honest with me, is more search. Now, display, I'm sorry, like say a Facebook ads would be, for some reason, Facebook and LinkedIn ads, excuse me, estate planning. That's more for that because no one's, a lot of people don't actually search for estate planning, but there's certain criteria, age group that you can target that they, they should be thinking about it. And then when they see it, they go, you know what? I should be thinking about it. So those are just little things. So it really depends on what practice area you are, what's lacking in your, in your marketing. And then we'll, we'll, pro we'll propose a, a solution based on that. 
Yeah, that makes sense. So you went from originally coaching to then doing done for you services to now hiring a coach for your own business. So why exactly did you go on and hire a business coach? Well, I'm a big believer of the saying, you don't know what you don't know. So although in 20, what was it? When I hired, when my first business coach I hired was in 2010. It's because I, I, I was, I was kind of stuck as to what I was doing. So that coach got me out. But the real, real, the, I, I, I had by the, a guy by the name of Dan Kennedy. I mean, he didn't coach me directly. He had a team of people who coached me. And they really put me down in a path of business growth, not just, oh, this is how you market your business. This is how you structure it. They went down to the level of LLC versus S Corp, advising us what kind of accountants to seek, what kind of questions to ask accountants, investments with Vanguard. I mean, they went deep into real business, things that I had never heard of before. For to me, it's like, oh, you just, you, you get some people, you, 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 you give them a service and that's it. No, I, that, they really taught me business and that came in 2015. That's when I really got the education of business. So the business is always able to support you though, even before you got it to that, that flow there. Yes. Yes. I guess, I mean, you can call it luck. Maybe I was a little lucky, but yeah, I've always been able to support myself. I, from 2007 to 2011, I did work my regular job and, and work the business. Part of it was in 2007, there was a, I'm sorry, 2008, excuse me. There was a global crash and I was a little afraid of it. And I just started my business the year before, but as the economy was recovering, I saw a nice flow of people coming to me to be coached, so to speak. I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. And then I just I took the plunge in 2011, you know, but it's always been, it's been, it was some rocky years in 2012, 2013 was a little rocky where clients canceled on me and stuff like that. But all in all, I've always been able to pay my own bills. And then I, I started building a team and never missed payroll since I started building team, et cetera. So it's been a, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a long and fruitful journey and but but yeah the, the the business coach i would recommend anyone who's not in who's in business who's who's thinking about being in business to hire a business coach and get it structured the right way so this most recent business coach that that was new you said a few years ago that was in 2015 the latest what? business i had, a, I had another business coach after that I've had, I've had a couple so the most recent one what was that switch. So, so the time concluded with the last coach, right? And then you said, okay, I want to bring somebody in again. Yeah. So then that was, I just did, I joined Tony Robbins business mastery. That's more of a mindset thing. It's more, I mean, they also do some some, some business structure stuff too, but it's more of mindset. How, how do you, how do you, I mean, they have a term, how to become a badass. That's one of their, and I don't know if you're familiar with Tony Robbins teachings, but it's very, very rah rah and everything pumps you up, gets you gets you really motivated into really believing that you're a lion. You got to be a lion. You got to be. You're not. You're not. You're not a little kitty cat. You're a lion. I mean, it's one of their things too. So, really positions you to go after larger types of businesses, real big, and also talks to you about merging, having mergers, and all that kind of stuff. And the Tony Robbins coaching program is the one that told that coach actually was the one who said, you should niche down because you're all over the place. Yeah. That's when I got that idea. And I'm like, okay, let's see. That's the last pro. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that that's the last coaching program I'll ever do. I think people should always coach because if I, if you think about it, greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan always had a coach. So I think. I, I will always coach. I would always get another coach. Right now, I'm riding what I learned there, and maybe next year I'll look to see what else is out there. What would your advice be to new entrepreneurs just getting started? I would say get comfortable with being uncomfortable. I know that's kind of weird, but when you switch from being an employee to being an entrepreneur, there are going to be some places, sometimes where you're going to feel the pinch and you're going to question yourself. Did I make the right move? Follow your gut. 
If your gut says, yes, you did, this is just a rough period, keep going. This isn't for everybody. I mean, I happen to love it, but but get comfortable being uncomfortable because it's going to be uncomfortable for a little bit. <laughs> That's for sure. It's not comfortable all the time. Yeah, you, get, you get used to it. You get used to like, all right, I might lose a client tomorrow, but then I'll have to sign another one the next day because back to your lion thing, I got to go hunt, find my own food. That's right. Yeah. That's so, right. Frank, <laughs> if our listeners wanted to get in touch with you for your services or you personally, how could they do so? Two easy ways. Check out my website is lbmsllc.com. But if you're not a website person and you just want to pick up the phone and call, I have an 800 number, 888-416-7752. Just ask for me and someone will put you through. Well, thank you, Frank, for being on the show. And thank you, everybody, for listening to another episode of Failing to Success. I'm your host, Chad Kalecki with Cosmic Design and Development. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.